wow, you're a truck driver, so you must have seen so many cool places. Have you been all around Europe? Tell me some cool stories. Well... Normally I drive to the same places every day. I rarely drive to new places and I haven't been close to leaving the country in a truck. Oh, cool. But that doesn't mean I don't have stories to tell. Let's call it a, a trucker stories. Yay! My strongest memories when it comes to work often has something to do with snow. I think all truck drivers have a good story to tell when it comes to working in the snow. The one I'm gonna tell today takes place a couple of years ago. My boss asked me to take my colleague's truck and load it up with ash in Halmstad. It was one of those trucks that looks like it's gonna explode when you see it in a movie. Yeah, that, that type. Speaking of driving close to home, this is the furthest I have driven in one shift at work. Look, I even print screened the Google Maps map. Woohoo. So anyway, there was a snowstorm rumbling on when I started my journey and I remember the roads were really bad and slippery. So I was uh, driving really carefully, all good. I arrived in Hamsta, I loaded up the truck, which took like four hours for some reason, and I started to head homewards. It got dark and I felt sleepy, but I drove as far as I could before the work time ran out. So there, on a tiny road surrounded by nothing but trees, I found a spot wide enough for my truck. At this point I was exhausted from all the driving and uh, focusing on, on keeping my truck on the slippery road. It had started to snow again and it was really really cold outside. I had one of my dogs with me, Alfie and I took him outside really fast before we shared a quick meal and got ready for bed. There was a thing with this truck though. It had a lousy battery and in this cold I was afraid it wouldn't start in the morning if I used the heater during the night. So my plan was to simply snuggle up with blankets and if I woke up I would just start the truck to get some heat back. When I woke up at like 5 in the morning it was indeed freezing. I started up the truck and put on my clothes and heated up some breakfast in the microwave. But wait! When I went to bed I had at least 200 liters of diesel in the tank. Now it's uh, empty. Someone had drained the diesel tank while I was sleeping. Nice. I turned the engine off again and called my boss. He had a GPS on his truck so he knew exactly where I was. Good thing because I had no idea. Me and Alfie snuggled up with blankets in the bed while we waited for the tow truck to arrive. He poured in some diesel in the tank and directed me to the nearest truck stop. I don't think I've ever been so happy to find a gas station before. So I filled up the tank and headed homewards. The guy who normally drives this truck took over when I reached Stockholm, so I didn't need to unload it. Which was good because I wasn't really familiar with this truck. I came home sometime in the middle of the day and I could finally breathe out. It was a really good feeling to finally be home. So that was the story of when I woke up with an empty diesel tank in the middle of nowhere. Turned out pretty good in the end, but I still feel worried whenever I have to sleep in a truck. Yeah. But hang on, why didn't you just leave the truck running all night? The thieves might have known you were there and uh, they might have left you alone. Well, you see, I wanted my boss to think I made a good job and I didn't want to waste any fuel. Funny how that turned out, huh? So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time making this video. Did you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see some pictures from my work days, uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. It's uh, Razor Kitten without an E. Oh, and by the way, this is the first time ever that I made animations. I knew animation took time, but my lord, is this time consuming. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there. Okay, bye.